Place that. Yeah. Yep. It's going. We're people, rolling. People in Instagram land can't see my cool glasses and hat that I'm wearing on Facebook. Hey, people. How's everybody doing? <laughs> not. I can't help it when I'm drinking soda, Mom. Not Dang. necessary. That was Joseph. It's a family night tonight. I can't see who we have on here. We got, oh, Jim's there. Hey, Jim. I've been playing with filters and that's kind of fun. I don't know if I can turn it off now, so. Probably not. You're stuck. <laughs> You're wearing the hat and so dude, that looks crude. Oh, All night. Crap. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Yeah, you can watch it on Facebook too. Yep. We're and on, on IG. We're on both. So we may be looking up or down or whatever. Which actually comes in handy with the filter here because you can't tell if I'm looking up at Instagram or not. So it's kind of cool. Hey, Judge Kevin, Uncle Max, you've oh, got to go do something with the dogs, though, please. Will you what please am I doing? What let them I in. Go She's with talking them to your, your brother. No, she was looking at me. Because I've already asked She's got shade, though. We're arguing, y'all. This is a fun night. No, Instagram. Thanks, Uncle Max. About Open the what? door and let the dogs in, please. Can you turn Thank you, young man. That one just a little bit. Hey, Bill, how are you? Perfect. We're kind of a hot mess tonight, so I'm sure that doesn't surprise any of y'all whatsoever. I think I have to reach up here and press this little button right here. So, excuse me. Hey, y'all. Oh, there. Oh, oh, crap. I don't know if I can turn it off now. I told you. You probably can. Maybe not. Maybe I can do that. There it went. Now I'm back to my normal self. And now you got the lamp over there blinding everybody. Oh my gosh. There we go. Just, I can't with this thing either. There. If you do that, that's fine. Now I've got a shadow on my face. Oh my god. That's the whole point of having it. You know, yeah, but look, you can just see my eyes X'd out from the light. Oh my god, y'all. Yeah, the heavy breathing in the background, that's our dogs. So. It's fine. There, there, there's dogs. We've got the fam here. Joseph, that's enough. We are all hot mess. So welcome to the Horn Life. We appreciate you joining us again tonight. Tonight is really about questions and answers. Last week we told you guys we were going to let y'all get to know us a little better by answering whatever questions you have for me or Harvey or the children or whomever. Aunt Pam's here too if y'all have any questions for Aunt Pam. Um, we're also going to play a little game with the kiddos. Um, they're going to make some choices tonight about who is better than the other one about certain things. So that one's going to be fun. Aunt Pam is going to be our moderator for that one to make sure we don't kill each other. Um, what else is happening tonight? Is that it? You got to do some drop shot and stuff. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about the shaky camera drop shots that I use. Jasper. Drop shot weights. Drop shot hooks. I didn't Come bring here, any hooks inside. But Just a finger get you some hooks. Pack of drop shot hooks. There Look in the go. boat in my hook box. I yep. think they're in there. But this is the real life of the horns. We're not always perfect like we have been in the past few videos. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you got <laughs> jokes? Did you mean drunk? Or no, I did not. David Graven said we have half of the Brown. Blues Brother and Harvey Ho Harvey the Hammer. Let's see. You. Um, so we're we're doing good. We're a little crazy right now, but it's good. Aiden Just Aiden Air is watching. Aiden, how you doing, baby? It'll be good. We're gonna have a fun time tonight doing that. Trent says, "What kind of fish is Robert?" Good one. <laughs> Thanks, Trent. Good answer. Trent, Trent got jokes. Jo Trent's just missing his gifts at work right now because they took Dale gifts away from us. Maxwell said, what did you fish, last, fish with last weekend? Where at? Ooh. I only fished one place. You mean this last week in Oklahoma? Wait, but you've been in Oklahoma the last two weekends, so never mind. What did you fish with? Just tell them. So, the first tournament we fished was Anglers in Action. Caught most of our fish in that tournament on a 
crankbait and a shaky head. Uh, my partner Terry Duffel caught one of the four and a half pounders on a shaky head. I caught one on a crankbait. Uh, Sunday, Joseph caught one on a jig. I caught zero bass. First time I haven't caught a bass in a tournament in a very long time. It happens, y'all. This it past happens. weekend, we fished in Oklahoma. We fished with Dale Hightower, Frank Talley, and a bunch of other great guys on Lake Keystone. The One of the former bass anglers, Kenyon Hill, put on a tournament with the He's funny. He's a help of Dale Hightower and the folks from Manford, Oklahoma. Uh, it's going to be an ongoing thing from now on. Uh, looking, this is the first annual. Looking to improve on the numbers for that next year. Uh, it's going to be a great tournament for the kids. We're looking at increasing the size next year, doing some different things, making it bigger and better. It was a great event that the city of Manford put on and looking forward to doing it again next year. We caught most of our fish in that tournament uh, on a spinnerbait and a fighting pro. You could have got the whole pack, but <laughs> makes it a little easier for people to see. Trent said, "When you first took, when you two first met, was it a boy?" <laughs> it was something. Trent, you can go back to bed now. You can stop it, watching. It was something. I don't know exactly what it was, but it was something. So I, I picked Harvey up in a bar. I think most of y'all have already heard this this story, but I picked Harvey up in a bar. And nine months later, we were, was it nine months? February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Yeah. Nine months later, we were married. So it, we didn't waste time when we got there and figured it all out. It was kind of nice. It was fun. We've had a good warm room so far. Carl said, how about shallow water drop shot? That's uh, precisely what I like to use these very small drop shot weights for. These are a 3 sixteenths skinny drop shot from Wicked Weights. You find them there, babe? Really lightweight. Pitch and flip it into shallow areas. Especially when uh, fishing around, say, docks or light cover. What, <coughs> what else are you thinking about on the drop shot piece? You've lost your focus. Where's no, your focus? I didn't know to lose my focus. I'm just thinking. Calm down a minute. Are you thinking that's what that looks like? <sighs> I don't know. I don't do it often enough, I guess. <laughs> what was that? Dawn says she's disappointed she missed the Blue Brothers. Oh, it's okay. We'll bring it back later. It was kind of fun. That was a funny moment. I'm playing with filters today. I'm trying Eddie to... Eddie Wood said that's a better story than Romeo and Juliet. Well, it's I mean, story. we didn't, we haven't died yet, so Thank yeah, you. I guess it is better than Romeo and Juliet. I did read that in high school. Did you read, did you read Romeo and Juliet in high school? I didn't mm. read that. Then. No. You will. You have to. I'm not talking about school to cheat today. I don't know if you like Tokyo reads. You know, I have. What is the Tokyo read? We haven't covered a Tokyo read. We haven't got to the Tokyo read yet. I, I have experimented with the Tokyo rig song. We're sassy today, y'all. It's just not good it, it, today. It really has its place for sure, but uh, I haven't found that place yet. But looking forward to using it some this season and some of the venues we're going to. I think it will have a have a particular lake that. I have in mind that it could really do well. Is that the one that looks like an earring? It's got like a little dangly thing down or whatever. Yeah. The straight line dangly thing. Yeah. It looks like you just put a piece of wire on the end of a hook or something. That is exactly That's, what it is. Why do you do that? That makes no sense to me. Because it shows the fish a different look to a drop shot. That basically all it is is a drop shot rig with a hard wire. Something that you can, it's a power drop shot, if you want to call it that. I don't understand it, but okay, I'm not Kevin a fish. Says, Joseph, when are you going to do a live, bro? I'm thinking about it, to be honest. We'll see. 
We'll see. We're still working on his social media skills. Yeah. I can hardly get him to post a picture, much less go live <laughs> on anything. I can't even get him to take a freaking picture unless he's got a fish in his hand and he's kissing it or something. I don't understand. He don't got much of the like, social skills. It. He does have social skills. Well, never mind. <laughs> There's your water boy reference for the night, y'all. <laughs> it was going to happen eventually. Oh, man. Welcome to the life. Y'all are so crazy. So crazy. We know. Anyway, so there's that. Um, so you did the thing in Oklahoma, which was really fun. Thank you, Dale and Alicia, for having us. We had a blast over there this weekend. It was really, really fun. The like Kirby said this is the first annual. They're going to do it again. Um, and they're really trying to grow it over there in Oklahoma. But Oklahoma does some really cool stuff for their kids, too. And oh, it, yeah. It was really good yeah. to see them put that kind of thing together for that group of, group of kiddos over there. Especially for their seniors who are going through so much right now. So it's a good thing. Our own seniors going through enough as it is. So I feel her, I feel you. Yeah, Oklahoma Bass Nation put that event on the Kenyon Hill in the help of uh, Manford, the city of Manford. And they did a great job, the weigh-in, how they handled everything through the Corona regulations, uh, you know, with the drive through weigh-in. It was really cool for those kids to be able to do that. It was really unique to see the turnout uh, of really great anglers that we had there. You know, from Bradley Hallman, Brandon Pettigo, Frank Talley, you know, the list goes on and on. You know, the, uh, Lou Palmer was there. And some great Elite Series anglers, some great anglers from other tours were there. It was great to see all those guys. The guys from the Bass Tank did a great job. Uh, promoting it on their social media as well and can't wait to do it again next year Whee! just on a different lake you know? yeah no doubt oh my gosh nothing wrong with that they lake they said it was a big old lake though I mean it didn't it's, look yeah it's a great lake and the city of Manford did a great job and I wouldn't mind going back there again I did run into one little snag on our ride through but nothing I couldn't handle let's just know we know two things after that little Fun time. You fished with Connor Bullard over mm -hmm. there. Good kid, smart kid. Did you learn anything from him? And then we'll talk more about what you learned about that weekend. This last weekend. Did you learn anything from Connor? Yeah, don't be afraid to throw something that's out of the ordinary. What did he throw that was out of the ordinary? Did I, did I miss that part of the conversation? Yeah. Oh, never mind. I'll ignore it. I'll watch it. I'll watch the video right here. Andrew wants to know what size hooks you throw with a drop shot. I drop use shot, right? a drop shots. number one split shot drop shot hook by Kamikaze. That's my go to drop shot hook when I want the hook point exposed. Those are little. Yeah, they are. Are they supposed to be that little? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm just wondering. And what size worms can you use with the Tokyo rig? The Tokyo rig is really unique in the fact that you can get all different size hooks with it and you can use whatever you want to with it you can use a uh, jerk minnow or a 10 inch worm lizard it, it doesn't really matter what you put on it i i actually throw a fighting frog on it quite a bit just to give a different look other than my standard uh swing head that i generally throw it on is that normal like or are you just being abnormal when you do that Everything I do is abnormal. Well, that's the Randy Smith says, ready to go get after him, Harvey Horn. Are you ready? Thoughts on the fall schedule? Ooh. So, for me personally, I really like the idea of fishing into the fall later in the year. Because it's, it's a time of year that most guys start to get off the water. They go do their deer hunting, dove hunting, and all that stuff. And... Well, you don't have all the crazy boaters out there in the city. It, it does cut down on the boat traffic quite a bit. It, it's, it's a unique time of year that the fish are very patternable. And, you know, somebody's going to just waylay them in, in all of our fall tournaments this year. Uh, Santee, Cooper, Lake Fork, Chick, those are going to be some tournaments that I think are really going to open everybody's eyes to the 
to the possibility of the fall. You know, it's it's something that we've seen here in Arkansas for many years that fall can be a feast or famine time. It's, it's you know, September is usually a really good month to fish, but October is usually our hardest month. And I've been able to capitalize in October a few times and do really well. I've also struggled in October. But I think with the schedule that we have, the lakes that we're going to at that time, I think we're really going to catch them. Uh, and I'm really excited about it. Mr. Kevin says, when you drop shotting, do you prefer mono or fluoro? I, I've actually swapped over last year to the braid to fluorocarbon leader. And it's really proven to be the way to go because you don't have the the drawbacks of using say straight mono or fluorocarbon you, you get all the benefits of braid plus the invisibility of the fluorocarbon and it uh, really seems to shine in the waters that we fish that are extremely clear is there a certain size you would use i generally use 16 pound sunline braid the uh, X Plasma, I think, is which one I had, or the SX1, and a either five or seven pound fluorocarbon leader. And you purchase either one of them through Sunline. I'm trying to picture which one of those spools are which, but that's okay. I'll what size braid do you spend? 16. <clears throat> I will drop down to 10 if I'm fishing extremely deep, you know, 30, 40 feet. So you got a question on Instagram. What's, uh, and I'll have a hard time seeing it. What Lake, lake are you, you yeah, there you go. I can't see y'all. I'm blind. You're going to have to find bigger it's types. actually not Where a lake. It's the St. Lawrence River. Uh, Cayuga is going to be an interesting event this year because it's yeah, going to be they a, little added bit, Cayuga. a little bit earlier. Uh, <coughs> Champlain is going to be another one that I'm looking forward to because I think it fits the way I want to fish a lot better. But the St. Lawrence is just so far beyond anything else. I'm on our schedule that uh, it's the one that I'm looking forward to the most, of course. Connor Bullard says, hey man, thanks for the great weekend. I had lots of fun and learned a lot. The tips you gave me helped me improve my fishing on this recent tournament. Thank you. Also came in with four good fish for almost 10 pounds. Caught some of the on the DT-10 and some on chatterbaits. Good job. Awesome. Good job, buddy. That's good. You're a sweet kid, Connor. We love you. Welcome to the Horn family. Brian Moorhead said, thanks for fishing Sunday, Harvey Horn. The kids love it. Thank you. We had a great time. Enjoyed being there. Look forward to doing it again. Elijah Talley says, I love fall and winter fishing in the South Central U.S. I catch bigger and more fish than any other part of the year. Yeah, it's, it's a great time. <clears throat> Most people are already off the water and it, it kind of... Let's the fish relax a little bit, so it's it's going to be an interesting fall. For Let's us them for refresh. Sure. Get some time Mr. to Kevin's chill out. Fall time on Lake Fork is going to be killer. Oh, is yeah. it really, or is it going to be like super tough? Because I've seen your face a couple times when you he talk about Lake Texas, Fork. So he He's like, mm, it, it could go either way. Uh, I don't know. It all depends on what the fish are doing. If they're in their I'm fall transition. It could be tough. If they're already set up in their fall patterns, it could be lights out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see it. Mm -hmm. I'm having problems over there? Mm -hmm. One of our moderators over here is having a hard time tonight. Yeah. Not really. Uh -huh. Does Spro have a rattle trap type lure and do you like a one knocker or multi BB trap? A what? Go grab my Spro box. What is what? Are, what what hey, words just came out of your mouth? It's sitting right in front of my chair. About I got the rattle top part. Down. I got the top water part. And the one knocker. What is that? It's got one knocker in it. Yeah. What's a knocker? Well, a, something. It, it's like a rattle. Okay. okay. Okay, that's better. Talk English, y'all. A one knocker. Dang. <coughs> Nobody can see you except Instagram. They can hear it. That's okay, that's the point. the whole point. I got you. Okay. That's what a one knocker sounds like. Okay. Compared to. I'm glad those forks were sitting there. <laughs> a rattle trap that makes a lot of noise. Okay. Well, that, so a rattle trap's got more little thingies in it. Got more BBs, yes. BBs. I know what a BB yeah. is. Okay. I That's got you. That's basically all it amounts to is just BBs. They're we just better. used to shoot stuff with BBs. We didn't know you had to use them in fishing. Put them in a frog. Um, why would oh. you put them in a frog? Make the frog make noise. Frogs don't sound like that, though. Mm. Oh, I've got one. Oh, 
<laughs> Amy says so she got one of the frogs today. <laughs> is it froggy season? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. I'm talking to Harvey. It's always a froggy season. Jim Gregory says so one knocker has one rattle bean. Thank you, Jeff. So oh, oh, oh. I'm opening up. Y'all got to talk about some of my boxes here. right now. If you don't want nobody to see it, you can scoot back. That's a Wamiku shad. A well, what? Wamiku. I think Wamiku. that's how you pronounce it. I can't Wamiku. speak Japanese. But well, you should learn. You that should is our friends. Spro's bait. And you can tell by listening to it, it has both a small rattle and a big single rattle how where you, you get the best that? of both worlds. I can tell. It's, it's an art form. By the way, Dad, uh, you had a question earlier by Daily. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. We got that one, I think. Is there any? <coughs> Let's stop. No, there's one about the hardest thing. Is that What's the What's the hardest thing about the Elite Series? About being in the Elite Series? The level of competition is way far and beyond anything else. Even the opens, because you get so many people fishing in the opens. Well, the opens, you get the best of the best local anglers at every event. And to, you know, this this is not what I'm just saying. This came from many other guys that I've been around for many years. Everyone, I'm going to tell you that it's way tougher to win an open than maybe an elite series event i'm going to say it's about the same because you're fishing against the best of the best in the world in the elite series and in saying that you know to to have finished in the top 20 in the last two events has been outstanding for me and our brand uh just the the amount of competition is just insane you know you're fishing against guys Rick Clun's been out there doing this since I was born. Literally, you know, y'all. He won Literally. his first classic in 1977. Uh, it's insane for somebody like Super that to cool. still be out there and still be competitive. You know, for him to win a tournament last year is it, just super crazy. But you've got so many great anglers in the Elite Series now that it, it's... It, it, it's just it's just crazy for me to think every day that I have to go out and compete against the guys, you know, the John Coxes of the world, the the Rick Clons, the Mark Menendez, uh, all those people. You know, I, I compete against Dale Hightower and Ooh. the rest of the guys. By the way, sorry guys, it's just great. Uh -oh. No, it is up here. They go uh, up. Okay, that's what I'm saying. It's just stopped for some reason. I'm I don't sorry. know. It's okay. I was just trying to catch up with Son, and he was in all. That's all. We've hey, already had probably 80 questions that we that's can't awesome. see. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, it helps when I can see things pop up. It just makes me feel better. Yeah. It's and my, you're still not going to see them pop up. It's like my OCD thing is just going kind of on there. I don't know. Weird. What it is. I don't get it either. It's okay. Oh, I'm challenged today. Today was really stressful today. It was a stressful day. Yeah. What? I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. Drink. Drink or whatever. What are you drinking? There's a smoothie, basically. Smoothie, okay. I don't know. You KCT Fishing says, Weird. sup, dude. Sup, Happy. dude. It's good times. It's good times. Yeah. Um. So... We, we we got a few questions in. Yeah, we got a few. Um, before you get started, you did this youth event this time. Reminder about what's happening in June here in Arkansas, please, sir. So the Commissioner's Cup coming up in June, sponsored by Express Boats. Uh, Date Wetbeck has done a great job again this year. The Commissioner's Cup, that's right put this together again and it's going to be on different lakes this year go to the uh, commissioner's cup facebook page and you can read all about it get up to date on what's happening it's going to be a unique event and it's going to be awesome for all the high school anglers yeah because it's not on just one lake 
Like you can go to several different. I think lakes. it's five or seven. I don't. Remember. It's a lot. It's a lot For of sure. your big like central yeah. hub Beaver's lakes. One of them. Beaver, Bull Shoals, um, oh, wow. wa uh, Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah. So there's a lot of them out there, and um, it's going to be a fun event. It's all going to be online, which is really cool because this isn't something they've done before. Of course, this is the only second one. Um, but it, I think it's good experience for the kids just because, well, kayak anglers use it all, yeah. all the time. Yeah. Joseph uses it for kayak angling. Um, but I think it's a really good experience for all the kids to see other ways for them to do tournaments. Yeah. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like I see a lot of tournaments doing something similar in the future. I think this is going to change tournament angling a lot, actually. What do you think? I agree, you know. Even for the elite series, the weigh-ins are going to be changed a lot. We're still going to be, um, still going to be doing live weigh-ins, and it, it's just going to be different. It, it's we're not going to have that fan interaction like we normally have. At least not for these first few. Like yeah, and, and it's it's just going to be it's just going to be strange to to walk out on stage and not have a huge crowd there. And I can't hug nobody, y'all. People aren't gonna let me hug them. And I have a big problem with that because I'm a hugger and I just have a problem with that. So uh, Jason asked, you know, how tough the, the stretch is gonna be uh, in New, New York. York. For four tournaments. Four tournaments, not three, We've four. got Pace, you said. Cayuga. Pace, the marathon in New York. St. Lawrence. Champlain and okay. Oneida. Because Joseph and I are going to be there for the first two for sure. Yeah, I think Woo it's going to be off the charts insane by the numbers of big fish you're going to see up there. Uh, uh, Connor asked what <clears throat> what I would throw in conditions like we had today. What was today? Today was a blur. I was in back-to-back -back meetings all day. Partly cloudy, light rain. Um, you should ask Pam. Spinner baits. <laughs> jerk, soft jerk baits, <laughs> top orders, swim gear, stuff like that will work really well. Pants are froggy. Frogs work. Froggy works. Randy Smith said, been on beaver. Top water is weird over on bull. Real hit and miss. I hate beaver. I don't know how many times I had to tell y'all that. I hate beaver lake. I would probably rather fish hydrilla if it's available, Alex. <laughs> Slay Nation Tournament Fishing says, get on those small jobs. <laughs> yes. Harvey likes small mouth fishing. I think Barry and you like large mouth fishing. It's different. It's just different. It's oh. different. Why is it different? Do, I mean, is it? Because they're more fun. <laughs> they're mean. <laughs> you mean they're more? What do Is it because they fight more? Do they just not like you more? I don't understand no, why it just, makes it fun. They're just insane animals. I uh, give up. You catch one in three foot of water that can jump four foot out of the water, so it's it's crazy. Uh, Tony so Weatherford said, "I met you last year at the Commissioner's Cup last year at Lake Hamilton. How is it fishing out of your express boat versus fiberglass boat?" It's a good question. Glory in the express family to be a sponsor. They're they're signed up again this year to be part of the Commissioner's Cup. Yay! I, I've had. Thank you, Jim. I'm gonna need a hug in New York. I've had both fiberglass and aluminum boats, and to me, I have more accessibility out of my Express than I did out of a fiberglass boat. I can do more. I can fish in shallower water. I can handle those great big waves with an express because it's a lighter boat it floats a little bit higher in the water seems to take the the big waves just as good if not better than all other fiberglass boats out there i don't feel like i'm gonna out fall there. out of the boat when it's when because we were out on uh was it loman the other night windsor. And windsor the other night and there were, windsor was here in bella vista and there was some big ski boats out big bay boats out there acting silly and uh yeah, it was kind of nasty out there for a couple of them, but uh, I didn't fall out. It was good. And I had my life jacket on, so that was even a bonus. No, Alex. What did Alex say? <laughs> Any more consideration on the whole man bun topic? Maybe down here. I mean, there's enough there that he could probably have a man bun on his chin, but that's about the extent of it. 
that's not gonna happen up yeah there. there's not enough up there to it's do anything happen, like y'all. that it's not gonna happen unless i did it on the sides like princess leia we ain't doing that either that's tacky that's way that's that better not ever come back in style as far as i'm concerned it's not a good look for you i like your ears your ears aren't bad you would only do that if your ears were ugly your ears aren't that ugly that's not too bad so what their question on insta i can't see you have to read because i can't read that far back <laughs> those are supposed to be reading questions that we have what what am i not seeing I don't know. There's a bunch of comments up there. I, I, I see comments, that. and I'm not getting any. Because there's no questions. Solar okay. panel for a love machine. Don't give him no ideas, y'all. I can't even. I just cannot. I don't know why y'all yeah, do this yeah. to me. Y'all need to ask me questions, not Harvey. <laughs> anyway. Kevin says, good evening, Pam. Hey, Mr. Kevin. Um... Marley wanted some help learning how to put a hook in a worm or a worm on a hook, however you want to deal with that. Sweet Marley. Just love her. Anything. I love that whole family. As long as They're it's so the good. right brand. They're such good people. Yeah, there was. Here's a lizard thing. We got bait everywhere, y'all. It's just crazy. I don't... That's not going to work. Where, oh, there look, in, look in that box. It's right here. That hook? Just oh, that's what you were looking for. Just happens to be a Kamikaze EWD. What is an EWD? Uh, extra wide gap. Extra wide. We'll show them what an extra wide gap means, Harvey. <laughs> 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 Where's the extra wide gap? This is the gap? I'm guessing that's what they're talking about. I <laughs> Jason, when do we leave for practice? For you, follow. He's gonna leave the fifth or the sixth. Probably it's an eleven-hour drive. Probably leave here somewhere around then. So, a couple weeks. So next week, for everybody, next week we're gonna talk about all the stuff we packed, me and him, because we're gonna go with him. I'm gonna work from Alabama and be there for the weigh-in, and then the week after we're gonna be live in Alabama after a couple of days of practice. So that was gonna be fun. And we'll give you guys an update then on how everything's looking and how he prepares for a tournament mentally and all the other stuff that he has to do to prepare for that tournament. Does that sound right? Yep. Okay. So I was asked what's my favorite balsa bait. What's a balsa bait? It's made out of wood. Oh. Uh big uh, Greenfish actually has some <laughs> balsa out there now that i really like and that's what i've been throwing they've got a hey, couple Jennifer? of different styles of oh my gosh, balsa. So good to see your face that's fine that's Rock perfect. says best way to fish a muddy grand lake in oklahoma not maybe just saying pick up a square bill or a spinnerbait and cover a lot of water right now uh, oh, speaking of mud, we never finished our story from Oklahoma. That's okay. We don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say Harvey knows exactly how deep his boat can maneuver. And we also know how reliable and tough his Yamaha motor is. Because it's still going and it's awesome. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you don't want to talk about it, y'all. No. Really. Sorry about that. Jim Ford said, question to Rhonda, what are we eating in New York? Whatever you cook, Jim. <laughs> Andrew said, you need to finish that story. No, we won't finish the story. Him and Connor have memories, though. They'll make, they've yeah. made good memories. It's been fun. So, young Miss Marley wants to know how to put a worm on a hook. Now, I don't know. She didn't specify whether it was a live worm or a plastic worm. I bet it's a live worm knowing Jim, if Jim's the one taking it. So the we're going to pretend that this is a live worm. And I won't touch a live worm, so I'm not pretending. And I don't know which one she asked that on Instagram or Facebook. It was on Facebook. It was on your so Facebook So a live today. worm, you're literally just going to take the worm and push it onto I don't miss doing the that. hook I all the way down to where... The worm covers up 
the whole hook and gives you something which you know, you know that's a live worm that's going to be down here wiggling around like that now there's some guys that I know that will actually rig up a worm to where when they Clean. fish it they're fishing it just like this and they'll put a swivel up in front of it on like a Carolina rig and reel it through current and it'll actually spin around and act all crazy. That looks so nasty, I'm sorry. And it catches fish. What can I say? There or they wouldn't do it. Oh, whatever. Oh, Casey Jeanette says, What te technique will you enjoy most this year and you look forward to? Gosh dang. Oh goodness. Uh you know, drop shot and <laughs> small mouth up north is, is something that I got a kick out of last year and being able that? to pull into one of those five pound small mouths is just insane. Um, there's some other stuff that we're going to be doing at the very next tournament that I'm not really going to get into right now. It's a secret. Everybody kind of knows, but it's still it's just got to keep it on the down low for a couple more weeks. Hopefully on that Saturday we can talk about it a little bit more. So that gets into a question that you got on your Instagram post earlier today. Basically, why don't other fishermen believe other fishermen when they tell us stuff? I think mm -hmm. I know why. Because they're a fisherman and they know what other fishermen say. Well, and, I mean, seriously though, like we know how y'all are. Y'all are the best liars in the world. Exaggerators, excuse me. Y'all ain't liars. Y'all just exaggerate a little bit. Clay says, what's up with the hummingbird live scope stuff? We'll get to that in a second. We so, we haven't had any word on it, so I, I, I don't have any ideas, notions, haven't heard a word, not a peep out of them, so we don't know. KCT Fishing says, you fishing any of the openers? Yeah, we're fishing all the Eastern Opens, and right now we have been kicking around the idea of going back to... He's been kicking around that idea. Don't lie, don't end, Matt. Do you want to go fish I that? I asked. I asked the question because I have to do the budget. Uh -huh. That's the only reason why I even asked the question, because somebody said something threw it out there this weekend. I'm like, well, this is pretty good. And I'm like... That's what they all say. Alex says, what's the further south you'll be fishing this year? Well, I don't know. You okay. follow Alabama. Now, the St. John's was the further south, but you follow Alabama will be the next further south. Other than Lake Fort, that's that's as far south as we're going to go. Was there anything else you needed to say about Muskogee? Y'all fishing out? Is that where it's at? It's fishing out of Muskogee? That's where I want. Why wouldn't I go back? I didn't say you sh I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. It's crossing her mind real hard, too. Erin um, says, sorry, we have an expensive hobby. You ain't lying. God, y'all. Somebody asked me, so I don't remember when it was. They asked me, so how much does he spend on fishing? A <laughs> lot. That's the question. I can still afford to get my hair done, but that's only because I save my money. <laughs> and I don't let him know I'm saving it. Because if he knew I had money put back, he would buy crap. You're a liar. We just bought how much crap over? Like, I'm not going to tell them what we bought. You don't need to mention all that. <laughs> Those are necessity, necessities. Necessities. Ne they're muy necessitarial items. Mo did you say muy necess... What did you just say? <laughs> Can you even say that again? <laughs> I can't even say what you just said out loud. They're very necessary. I must very necessary. Have them. It was expensive. That is for doggone sure. It's like short. 180 bucks or something. I mean, we're grateful that, that we have the, that. we have. We're very grateful for the partners we do have. Very, yes. very grateful. Oh yes. Because there's no way we would be able to do what we're doing right now without our people at Big Bite and Sunline and and our friends at Rock and Bar Tea and Nightingale and all those awesome people. And Express and Yamaha, but I will tell you one thing: if I I need to win the lottery, 
That's all I'm going to say about that. Y'all send me some numbers, and I'm going to win the lottery. Period. I will be fishing a big spoon at some point this year. Is that what a question? Was that a question? That's one of the questions. I like how you randomly answer stuff, but you don't say what the question is. What? I, I, the the question was posed. Do you ever throw a big spoon? Then say that and say and you ever throw I a big will spoon? be throwing a big spoon at some point this year. So what is a spoon? Is it like something in your kitchen drawer? Yeah, a spoon it's basically just perhaps. a big spoon with a treble hook on the back. Yeah. Ow. Aaron said his fear is that if he dies, his Ow. wife will sell his gear for what he told her and pay for it. Yeah, yeah. So going back to that other question around why don't other fishermen believe other fishermen? Just an example. Just an example. The sad part is, y'all, she knows how much I paid for that stuff. I do know how much you pay for that stuff. Now, you can't get nothing across me. I will find out if I can't. I mean, and, and, and she also knows the tackle shop owner that I worked for at Hook Line for years. So she could just call him and say, hey, come down here. And we'll split it, and you get like forty percent. So I don't even need that. I got, I have good friends that love me more than they love you. Hey, Mr. Chris. Just saying. This is true. Hey, Chris. So you'll be all right. Hey, Miss Stacy, how are you guys? Um. So yeah, I know exactly what you spend. I do the taxes. I I manage the checking account. I know exactly what you spend. Where it gets tricky is when people reimburse him for crap that he bought and I don't see the cash back. I know who y'all are. I know who does this. And I will come find you if I have to. Just saying. It's not good for y'all. What you guys say about that? That's what I thought. No what thought? Mm -hmm. no, no All right. Comment. What's your best fishing memory? Somebody asked that. Oh. Uh, not tonight. It was previously. Probably. <laughs> One of my best fishing memories was when Joseph caught the big drum on Beaver. Oh, oh yes! Awesome. That, that, that was, was so fantastic. Probably one of my best Get fishing memories. Get the net! Memory. Get the net! He We're was, gonna have to re like redo that one just to uh, like maybe Get the post that five six years old, and he sets a hook on a twenty pound drum. Oh my gosh! It was it one was, of his first tournaments. Yeah, yeah, it really was. It was you brought the, it home three hundred dollars right there or something. I did. One of the team trail tournaments. That was fun. Oh my gosh, that was so fun to watch. He was so excited. Harvey sent that video. You gotta watch this. And I'm I'm sitting here just bawling because my baby caught a big old fish. He was so excited about it. It was sad. That I like that was a good fishing memory exciting. too. My favorite fishing memory is when you took me catfishing for one of our first dates. That's my favorite. That was a fun time. That was fun. Because that's when he told me, he's like, that's what I'm going to He's like, I'm going to marry you one day. So, and I was like, oh. So Brock so asked sweet. to find the cleanest water on a rainy Grand Lake. Cleanest water? Like right now? That, that's that's a loaded question for me. Because in some a of, shower or in a house some, on Grand Lake? Some of the water that's, where the clear that's water coming at. in will still be muddy, but some of it will be cleaned up. I'm going to go look for a water that's moving running in uh sometimes and this time of year it's usually pretty good because the fish are Katie. still in the spawn kind of post spawn phase over there um look for the shad spawn and they'll be spawning in dirty clean it doesn't matter couples <laughs> therapy <laughs> You're so right, okay. Brock. <laughs> You're so right. It's so funny. Um, I got a question. So, what's the hardest thing about being married to you? What's the hardest thing? I don't have any problems with being married to me. One, it's not for you to answer. It's my question. Oh. Then why did you ask me? I didn't ask you. I was telling. The question was. I'm pretty sure it looked like you asked me. That right there is part of the problem. That right there is the hardest part. Right there, I think, is just the mouthiness sometimes. You're the one who spoke to me. <laughs> you looked at me and said, What's You're the hardest good. part of Get being married to. to you? I'm just saying. Anyway, I think honestly, the hardest thing about being a fishing wife in general is I don't know. It's it's not really that been that hard for me to be a fishing wife other than justifying the amount of money we spend on tournament fees. I think that was our biggest argument early on was 
I don't see this going anywhere because it's just fishing. And then when he started going to the opens and doing really well in the opens, it started clicking with me like, okay, I see what he's trying to achieve with this. I'm trying to, and I finally got on the same page. That was after we've been married for 18 years. I know. <laughs> She's a little slow, y'all. No, sorry. it's not slow. It's just when you have to justify that type of expense and you get two kids and a house and all this other stuff going on, it's it's really hard. And for me, I feel like that's the hardest part of being a fishing wife is because it feels like a dreamland over here for you guys, even though I know what the type of work goes into it. I see you out there planning and studying and this, that, and the other. But when I'm at home with kids and the house to clean and work to do and this, that, and the other, it's really hard to... Get those things to reconcile you. And I think a lot of other wives have the same problem. Because they told me they have. I'm just saying. Yeah. So. We, we, we have friends that, you know, they, they struggle. And yes, they do. They really we have, do. We have told many of them, you know, it's it's part of, for me, it's part of my DNA. I, I cannot not go fishing. It. it doesn't work for me. I've tried it. And. That's my therapy. That's my release. That's my place that I go find peace. It, it's just what I do. And that's... Which that part I never had a problem with. It was the... You spent it was the check dollars. I wrote every time. <laughs> you spent five dollars. And I didn't see an immediate return on it. That's it. That was the hard part that I had to manage. And I come from a finance background. So everything had a return on investment. And it's it's it was just... It was really... That's... To me, was the hardest part. Now that we're doing this for real, I think our, our other hardest part is keeping my mouth shut. Um, because there are some people out there that really want to get to know me, but they don't really want to know me, if y'all get that at all. Because there's I a few times, there's a few times where I have felt very... I wouldn't say, I, I don't know. Just to be, can I be honest? No. Okay, well then I'm not going to talk about it anymore. No. <laughs> I'm not going to be that honest. <laughs> no. you, 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 you got where you needed to go with that. That's anyway, okay. that's probably the hardest part right now is 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 keeping my mouth shut about certain things that happen. And um, we just... Live with it, move on. Well, get we learn better. from it, we get better with it, and we just keep going forward. And, and what the way I justify it though is, you keep doing the right things, the good the, the good things will come back to you, and that's what we do. We just put all the good into it, and we get the good that comes out of it too. And other people just don't always see that. Yeah. What? Jerry. 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 <laughs> Now that she's off her soapbox. Sorry, y'all. Y'all ask questions, I'm going to answer them. Dang. What else, punk? You got the questions. Oh, what's the most important thing you carry with you when you go on the road, other than me? My possum. The possums. The Lord. And my express boat. The holy possum. I, if that we don't have the express boat, I can't get out there on the water. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not as good as Jesus yet, so I can't walk out there and catch them. <laughs> Fun. You got some. You got a way to go to be Jesus, baby. That's okay. You're hey, working on if it. If I could figure out how he did that, bro. What's the most important thing you've learned so far this year? Even though you've only fished one tournament and worked the classic. <laughs> yeah, this is this is gonna be. <coughs> um, one of those time. things that that uh, I, I've worked on for a really long time and. It's patience. In Florida, I learned to be still. I know that sounds weird because we always preach cover water, cover water. The first day of practice, I would go to a spot, drop my talons, and fish everything that I could cast it. Drift to the next spot, fish everything that I could cast it. That is the reason why I was able to find the fish that I found in Palatka. It taught me to slow down, be patient, and to 
concentrate on fishing what's around me and picking off those few fish instead of, oh, I've got to run here, I've got to run here, I've got to run here. Thank you, Donna. And, and that's how I finished 12th place. You know, uh, I can't say that it was anything less than divine intervention to, Jesus. to to make everything fall into place the way it did. That. That's Jesus. And to be able to finish 12th in, a, in an extremely tough tournament. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what else I could say other than it was just be patient and, and let your surroundings tell you what you should be doing. And, and, you okay, know. So is that what you'll take into you follow is just yes. being more oh, yes. attentive to, to the environment where you're at? And yeah, I mean, there's there's so many different things going to be going on that you follow that a guy could really easily get lost in, oh, I've got to go do this or go do the, or this and go do this. I, I think the guys that are going to do well, I'm, I'm going to step out on them and I'm going to say they're going to be doing a lot of different things. Uh but in doing those lot of different hey, things, Caleb. they're not going to be doing it in a lot of different places. And I know it's it's kind of a a strange scenario, but I think that's how this tournament's going to play out. I could be off base and all wrong. It could be guys pulling up on one spot and sitting there for four days. You don't really know until you get there, kind of. But I'm 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 leaning towards the idea that you're going to see guys doing a lot of different things and they're going to be doing really well with doing those different things. Jim says they're coming <laughs> to Camp Lake soon. Never Nana. heard of Camp Lake. Yes, you have. I told you about it yesterday. Did you? Oh, day before yesterday. Day before yesterday. Oh, the one in... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah Minnesota. I'm down. I'm down. That's really close to another place. Yana's like watching, so she's ready. She's yeah. like, when are you coming? To park your camper at Camp Lake, which is outside of what, what's that lake called, Harvey? Because I can't say the word. Uh, Millax. Millax. I think that's right. We'll Millax. have to get my friend Marie to tell us how to pronounce that. Alex says, what's I don't your go-to search bait? <laughs> She's from <like>, Minnesota. <laughs> yes. That's hard to say. <laughs> it all depends on the time of year. Uh, a, a small... I've actually got one right here. One of my go-to search baits for when the fish are still. Like that was right. She said we pronounced it right. In in fairly shallow water. I'll be right back. Is I've actually got two of them, just not the normal color. My Pro Little Johns. Those are usually my go-to search baits. Uh, when the water temperature is a little bit cooler in, say, spring or fall. Ugh, I hate those things. Have y'all ever tried to organize those things? They're Pro horrible. Rock crawlers. Tell a little bit better than you. Huh? Huh? Rock crawler has been a really good bait for me the last couple mm -hmm. of years. Um, now, once it turns that. over and oh, goes into the fall, Possibly during the shad spawn, I'll either be throwing a swim jig, spinner bait, uh, maybe even a top water, you know, fast moving top water, something like that. But, Andrew says, Do you practice with hooks or without? Or are you afraid to stick fish before turning? If I pull up on a spot that I'm afraid to stick a fish, I'll, I'll, I'll bend my hooks over. And generally, for us, by the time we're we're done with practice we're not we're not worried about really sticking anything we, we're we know the fish are there and we don't need to worry about that we just won't even fish it. you know if i know i'm i know i've got a spot that i'm going to fish during the tournament if i go up there pull up on it on monday and i catch one i'm going to drop away point leave and i won't go back to it until maybe uh wednesday just to graph it and see what's there and then I'm moving on. I won't even make a cast. Yana got Henry a fishing pole. Yay. Awesome. Yay. I'm so excited. He, she says, maybe he's a one on one. I do that. All more reason come Minnesota. I'm excited. Yeah, Let's I make it that. happen. That is Joseph Phillips' voice in the background. We just got a text Hello. from Yana asking. You're fixing to see him in just a second. 
We're gonna do a little game here in just a minute. Hopefully we will in a second anyway. We're waiting on Kaney. Kaney's doing something in her room. And mm. then we'll get started. But yeah, it's good times. I don't know. What, is there any other questions? This little box here? Yeah. Here's, my little buddy my John baby. sent me. Are you gonna come stand in front of Tim? Tried and true. Beetle yeah. stand. Yes. That's number one bait on tour this year. This. Right there. You have to. Oh, beetle stand. H and H beetle stand. Please. Quarter ounce size. I need this. If you don't have those, you're not going to win. Where is that at? Where are you going to win? Everywhere. This? That's it. All the tournaments. Jim Collins says, no, Any tips for fishing luck, Loma? Any tips for Loma? <laughs> No, shaking her head. No, you know, don't tip anybody. Barry's watching. Uh, they're they're on a jig bite out there right now. They're on the top water. They're on the spinner baits. Just go out there and get them. I think I caught probably a hundred fish yesterday. Is there anything? Else? Uh, I, I know a couple people went yesterday, yesterday maybe, huh? and caught a few fifty or so. Uh, the the bluegill red ear bites insane out there right now. I got a picture that I'll post the next day or two. The bluegill that's like that long. <laughs> Are you ready to do this game? You ready? Okay. Can you, as an elite series angler, fish any FLW events as well? I see some MLF guys fishing Pickwick this weekend. You know, I don't know. You, you know, that's a big that's entry fee fun. deal. Yeah. I, I don't know that if we could or couldn't. I know Rick Juan fished some <laughs> last year. If you're not all, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't keep up with what's going on over there. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't. I, I have no idea. Couldn't, couldn't tell. You. Jasper and Kaney are in the background. If you can't tell. Kaney's the one with blue hair, in case you wonder. Jo uh, Joe wants to know how deep is the jig bite. I think that's what he Shallow. Said. Shallow, Shallow docks. Just Famous Irma. I, I caught him off of docks for six straight hours yesterday. Docks and grass. There's a question on Instagram about summer and fall fishing, and does it favor your style? Summer fishing... Not so much uh, as the fall fishing does, but it, it it all depends on the body of water. Um, you know, if it's summer fishing on table rock, yeah, I'm down. I'm, I'm all about that life. Uh, if it's summer fishing on beaver, yeah, they can keep it. It, it all depends on where. You know, I, I really love to tie on a big jig and go to go to table rock and flip, you know, put those big heavy action caching rods to work and yank them up out of the trees with 20 pounds on line on an eight to one dollar reel. It's just the most insane bite I've ever had. It's Shelby. And can just waylay them up there. It's fun and then I love doing it. Hey, Misty. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper tonight. I'm actually drinking soda tonight because I didn't get sweet tea. Kenny ran and did a dinner run and we had Mexican food, and they don't have good sweet tea, so I'm having to drink soda tonight. So next week, though, we're having sweet tea. I didn't feel like making any today. All right, Joseph, come around here. So we got a little game to play. Aunt Pam was going to ask some questions. A lot of you have probably seen this on TikTok, where they have the parents pointing at the kids, or we're doing it the opposite <laughs> way, where the kids are going to point at the parents. And Aunt Pam is going to read off questions, and they have to point at us. Are you ready? I told you, get ready. I know. I'm just putting my hair up. I'm going to chill out. Okay. Well, you got to get over here in front of the camera. Okay, Joseph, we can't see you. I have to get in the middle because you're tall. That is true. All right. So, you have to make sure people can see who you're pointing at when you do this. Say hi, hey, hey, everybody. Hey, all right, say hi to Yana too. Auntie Yana's on here. Hi, Aunt Yana. Hi. All right, ready? Ready? Set. Go. Who is the better singer? I Are gotta you admit. Serious? I gotta admit. I mean, he's pretty dead. He's, he's pretty got dead that good. Bass voice. Whoa. Just saying. Who is more responsible? 
<laughs> Nobody's shocked by that. Nobody is shocked by that. I'm Who sorry, is man. more forgetful? Nobody is shocked by that either, especially people who work with me. <laughs> Joseph, move over just a little bit so they can see you. See? Which one likes to stay <laughs> home more? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, are y'all crazy? Well, mom loves to stay home because she. Yeah, I t yeah, I think mom likes to stay home a lot more. Dad likes to go fishing, but mom likes to stay. Home. Oh, here, pause for a time. second. We got a we got a technical difficulty problem here. One moment. <laughs> Sorry, we had to, the Instagram video stop. It's rude. Instagram, yeah, kind of you need smart. to make your videos last longer. It's just kind of sad. Like, this is yeah. not good, y'all. It's kind of it's not it's good. Uh, Felsenthal National Wildlife Refuge is located in Washington. Uh, I don't know. Harvey will have to tell you what to use. <laughs> I can't read that. I can't read the question. So. <laughs> This is a problem. Share that. You don't have to share it if you don't want to. I don't want to share it. It helps. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so children, when is what? Harvey going? When is Harvey going to color his hair blue? <laughs> I've tried. I have tried. Yes. We have aqua dye mm -hmm. under the sink. We did try when, especially when Caney was. Starting when she was doing uh cheer, we um we we did that and or we're going to do that and it was all going to be glittery and everything, but we never got around to doing it. So it was kind of like it was a bummer. Okay, oh, we still have dye yeah. under the sink. So good. Who is the funniest? Who's the funniest? Yeah. Oh. I don't know if I'm allowed to answer that. Oh, you have to. You have to. Seriously, y'all? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, your jokes. How am I not the funniest? Okay, we have to ask this one because it came across here. Whatever. Who loves spending more money? Uh-uh, 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 <laughs> this one. That's a no-brainer, y'all. I do not either. She can gripe about my money all the time that I spend, but she spends more. If we ever, like, if you count the mortgage dollars the bill. Fishing, and we go straight <laughs> the to your bank account and you would only buy baits who listens to better yes. music who listens to better music split that's true i give it that i give I, yeah i listen to awesome music what are you talking which about which one is the better driver <laughs> that's a no-brainer <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a little obvious, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's true. Who is more outgoing? Mm. Joseph, you got an answer. Trips mm. like answering on trip. He's answering all. He's the most mm. outgoing, Joseph. Yeah, yeah go trip. Love you, bro. <laughs> That's a different trip. Oh, I got. Uh, it's okay. Mm. You can't answer both. I, well, Mom, what else can I do? <laughs> What's up, Josh? <laughs> I don't, I don't know who who loves the children more? Well, I don't. Oh, too late! You can't take it back. You can't take it back. Crap. <laughs> Katie didn't answer. I think you're taking a bye on that. I'm not gonna answer. You know. have to answer. You who loves love the us. dogs more? <laughs> Are you kidding me, right mom? Now? Mom, you cuss at the dogs literally almost every I week. I do not. I did. Well, I did today because they exactly. Ripped, exactly. They, well, they, exactly. They, they ripped into the soil. They ripped into my garden soil on the back porch, Who and I can the better hold artist. Them. Who's the better artist? Oh come on, Dad. Really? That's totally, honest. Dad. That's I agree honest. with that one. Yes. Uh, oh, don't get all. Well, 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 I have to because I'm cutting myself Uppity. off in the picture. Over oh, here. they don't want to see you over here anyway. Who is more likely to win the Bassmaster Classic? <laughs> the two of us? Duh. <laughs> that was a gimme. Hey, he could... was afraid they were going to answer me on all the questions. So. Okay, last one. This is really hard. You got to think really hard on this oh, one. Oh, it's God. not going to be really hard. It's the better yes, cook. it is. Who is your favorite? Okay. <laughs> and this well, could be a joke. Mom, mom, I'm sorry. 
might do this for us, but uh, oh, <laughs> no breakfast for you in the morning. I'm sorry, but Katie, you have to answer. I'm not answering. The you question. have to answer. You know, no cheater. <laughs> cheater. No, you didn't see her other finger. Her other fingers pointed up there. <laughs> She came home and said, Mom, take him back to the hospital, please. <laughs> She's like, can you return him like you do things at Walmart? And I'm like, nope, they won't let me do it. Oh, Russ still tried. Still but tried. Walmart won't take him. He's too young. But they will not take him. So one day we will have him and go to Walmart to be good times to go there. Any other, any other fascinating questions we need to think about or... Kids, anything you want to tell everybody out there in internet land? Boy, you've been <laughs> grounded, he said. Yeah, Joseph, you are. You, Joseph always sides on his dad. Hey, hey, guess what? I, I don't even need to be grounded. Because guess Joseph, what? I still get to go fishing. But Joseph forgets who has access to all the bank accounts. Fair point, but still. And his phone account. And his phone and pretty much his entire life right now is in the palm of my hand. I don't know about that, but... Uh, Boy, I brought you in, and I can take you out. It would not hurt my feelings some days. But can Dad do the same? <laughs> I'm just Dad saying. won't. I'll just kick you out the house. No, you won't do that either. I can do that too. I can come visit you, you do mother. not either. <laughs> That's true, because he'll just go straight to Mama and Pam's house. And they'll house him for life. They <laughs> <laughs> if they kick me out, I'll just live in the woods. Look, it's Miss Rhonda. Oh, hey, Rhonda. We can do this all night. Love Harvey's facial. You're going to see several of his facial expressions. Is there more? You're going to see anger. Well, who is the well, most popular? Here. Yeah, who is the most popular? That's true. Because regardless oh, kinda, of what they say, regardless of what they say. You're kind of famous now, too. Who's the tallest? That was, in, that was horrible. That is the tallest out of all of us. What are the other ones? That was it. There's, there's a repeat. Now. Who would, who's more likely to get a speeding ticket? Mom. <laughs> You're more likely to get caught and not be able to talk yourself out of it like that can. I run faster. So the question on, on Instagram was, who swerves when squirrels are in the road and who plasters them? That's easy peasy. Who runs faster? I don't faster? know about plastering. Though. Harvey don't, don't walk, you. much less run anymore. Oh, I can still run just in you short won't. distances. <laughs> <laughs> what, like two from feet? From to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> from, from the bed to the toilet every morning, I'll run. Oh, wait, what are the other ones? Um, who's a better driver? Hey, Toby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who loves the children? Who loves the dogs? Right. <laughs> who's more outgoing? Who's the better artist? Who's the better singer? And who's your favorite? So let's get back to this popular like thing. You are question. you are like the more popular one. Question. But going back to the earlier question about who likes to stay home more, I actually like to stay home more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I don't need to be here that much. No, he don't. Because he probably get killed. Aaron wants to know who cooks better. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> That's a tough Ooh. question. Is it tough? Hard? Is it tough, Joseph? That's a, Look at Kanye's face. It's a tough question. Yeah, you better point this way, Heifer. <laughs> oh, this way. I don't know, because that man can still throw down in the kitchen. That is I just true. don't. You can throw down. He, no, he but, can't throw down in the kitchen. He can throw down on a grill. grill yeah. This fool can grill like nobody's business. Him and A. Pam oh. can grill like nobody's business. But everything else Maybe is me and his more. mama. So the question <laughs> should have been, who cooks more? Oh, she can go. Uh, <laughs> yep. There you go. Gusanos cooks more. Although, I'm mad at this. Oh, my gosh. Uh, coffee or Coke? Oh, no. It's straight coffee house right here for breakfast. We don't. Heart, we heart. Monster energy. No. Hi, hi. Mr. Jim says, who can walk around barefoot? 
I can. Oh, that's that's not even. Harvey no. Hall's got Mr. baby Jim feet. Knows no, Harvey yeah. <laughs> no. Thanks, Mr. baby Jim. feet. He can't no. walk across carpet without having to have shoes on, y'all. It's the hilarious. It's funny. It's I can awesome. walk on my sea deck barefooted. Thank you very but much. But you don't. I have. But he, Aren't you but the one that was like? He has. What he has. Sea deck baby. Pitifulness. I'm telling you. All right, Heck folks. We're gonna end this up. <laughs> we punished everybody that watched long enough tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Y'all yeah, can watch the fight next Tuesday night, 7 p.m. <laughs> we'll be back. Throwdown. What are we talking about again this week? Oh, we're talking about what we pack for trips. Like exactly. This. Like I said, y'all can watch the fight next Tuesday night, <laughs> 7 p.m. <laughs> On either of the Harvey Horn fishing channels. <laughs> Be sure and tune in. And we'll try to filter next week too. Who you want to win? Bets are on me because everybody likes me better. Oh wait, are we doing this? Like, I don't know about that you just YouTube? YouTube? We should ask them who's better. Who's the, who's the, because I guarantee you, everyone yeah, out there's who's the best I'm parent? Funnier. This one or this one? Every one of them out there is going to tell really? you I'm funnier. Really. Every one of them. Why do we have to go there now? Because the same. <laughs> okay, so y'all call it. Who's, Who's the funny, the funny one? one? This one or that one? It's me. I know it is. So we'll have a vote <laughs> and choose a winner. <laughs> and whoever wins. Oh, I'll have to think about that. Whoever. Oh. We'll do a bad joke. Sean. No, no. Who? If you win, what you gonna do? What know. you want if you win? I tell you what, right, we'll do right. this. If if you win, I have to walk across the yard barefooted. Yes. <laughs> I can't. <do> <laughs> I can't. You got that much confidence. So in what it? if you win? Yes. What if I win? win? You'll walk across the grass barefooted. But what if <laughs> you win? And we'll video it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you have to walk barefooted from the front door to the grass and on the grass? No. Yeah. Just yeah. Walk in the grass barefooted. Oh. There's rocks yeah. out there. Yeah. I could cut my foot and I could miss the there. whole rest of the season because I got a, a gangrene on my foot or something. Who gives the best my parrot face? RV horn. Oh, this I can I can hurt people. <laughs> I can hurt your feelings just by looking at you. Yes. That is true. He can. He's got. He's got a look. He's got a look. Man. It's look not that look. Constipated. <laughs> no, no. Don't it's not that, that look. look. Oh, goodness. You're fine, Dave. Not that one. I think one. Dad's winning. Yeah. <laughs> Dad's, Dad's winning. winning? That's no, winning. no. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll tally our votes next week. We'll even do a little poll out there on your thing. Who's funnier, me or you? I guarantee you, they're gonna say me. So if you win, yeah, I'm the only child now. I don't know. I had to. I had to come up with something diabolical. Diabolical. <laughs> Diabolical. You can't even spell diabolical. I was just about to say. Just because I can't I, spell it don't mean I can't say it. Here's a dog. Here's Coda. Say this this is my dog, by the way. This uh, is Coda. Get your nasty pits away from my face. <laughs> <laughs> Things are crazy at the horn house today, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm going to see all this. Now y'all know why I got this. If that. you If you win, what? I don't know. I, I had to think of something. We'll 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 announce we'll announce that part next Tuesday. No, I'm no. gonna announce it Friday. Oh God! We'll do a special live announcement on oh. Friday afternoon From at six thirty p.m. Six thirty p.m. on Friday. You're getting all exact. Seven thirty seven thirty Eastern time <laughs> for those people over on the yeah. East Coast. Because I know y'all be Harvey watching. goes blue. Oh, yep. I like go. it, Joe. I like it. Easy. <laughs> Easy now. Toby's like, you're both funny. This Toby, is, you can't play this favorites, is boo. High quality hair product put it up in here. There is no on the fence here. There's no on the fence. You have to choose one or the other. What are you talking about? Toby said y'all are both funny. I'm like, sorry, Toby. 
We can't play it that way. We can't play it that way. I got sample packs of Big Bite, y'all. Don't fall for that crap. No fall for it. Because I'll cook for you. She lies. Lies. Thanks, Kyle. We appreciate you. All right. All right, everything's getting a look cry cry. Thanks, Jim. I appreciate your vote. Y'all, y'all, we'll put a little poll out there and we'll figure out who's gonna win what. And until then, we will see y'all when we go live next. Y'all just keep watching for us. Yep. Peace out, peeps. Love yeah. you.